Color 10 News, continuing our exclusive interview with Governor Mike Parson. You know, in a short amount of time, the state of Missouri has already seen so much change. And we spoke to the governor about the possibility of in-class schooling continuing this school year and how the state can help local small businesses as well. We've got school districts right now canceling in-class school for the rest of the year already. If this is going to continue for the rest of the year, do you foresee schools going through summer school? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. We're putting together an advisory committee right now of superintendents across the state. Those are issues we're going to talk about. What are you going to do if we don't finish the year? What are you going to do for graduation? What are you, what are you going to do for summer schools? What are you going to do for transportation? What are you going to do about the, the food? All of those things are coming into play. And those are all going to be discussions to see how we handle this. Again, I think the best case scenario is 60 to 90 days. So we gotta start thinking in that element right now. But I don't, I don't foresee the schools, uh, I don't foresee the schools coming back in session this year. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna handle that, how we're gonna deal with it. And also, you gotta just gotta keep in mind, we still gotta give these kids an education. Mm -hmm. I mean, just putting them behind is not gonna be the answer. So we're gonna figure out solutions to that. But I'm confident too, there's a lot of leaders out there. As I give the superintendents across this state the opportunity to make the decision whether to close their schools or not, they stepped up and did the right thing, and they did it on their terms to know how to best suit their communities because, you know, the school district in St. Louis or Kansas City is, is much different than they are in Fair Play, Missouri, a little school, a little town of 356 people, that that's the heart and soul of those little towns, those little school districts. And you have to be prepared for when you shut that door of what you're going to do with those kids. And I think that was so important to me, and, and not to mention the safety side of it. But then as I think we're seeing now, then all of a sudden you overwhelm the daycare side of it because now everybody's in daycare. Now you've got large bunches of children in daycare mm -hmm. where you had them in school. So again, I think you always have to think through how do you prepare for that? And I think that's exactly why I made the decisions to leave that up to the superintendents and the local levels across. And I think it was the right decision to make. Things may look better in 60 days or they may not. I think the one thing, though, Vic, that you, ha that you have to understand, for the people out there has to understand, these numbers are going to go up. There's going to be thousands upon thousands more tests being done daily, and these numbers will go up. And I think people have to understand that, um, like any other virus, you know, as it spreads, it really, what we got to do is try to reframe it from spreading and follow the rules, follow the guidelines. That's going to be the, the secret to success on what we're doing. I'm a grandparent and I got those little kids at home and you, you know, as, as most other people do, you know, we don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. You're a former small business owner. I know you feel what people are going through. Is there anything at the state level right now that's being discussed, that's being brought forward that can help small business owners and or hourly wage earners. People sometimes want to make decisions on just the short term. Mm -hmm. You know, the easy decisions I want to say, and, I, and you get a lot of political pressure to do that. But the reality of it is this could go on for 60 to 90 days, just, you know, probably on the short term. So what are people going to do that loses their job? What are they going to do? How are they going to make a living? How are they going to buy groceries? How are they going to buy medicine that they need? How are they going to do the things in a normal life when they don't have jobs? And that's why that's important. And if you look what the government's going to do as far as how, what it's going to do for us, you know, I'm not sure there's going to be a lot of ways to bail people out. You know, and I think a lot of people are thinking, it's okay, it's going to be okay. You know, government's going to come here and bail me out. I'm not sure that's going to be the case. You will see a deficit. The state budget will have uh, more of a deficit more of a hole in it than I've ever seen before and that people have seen that we're going to have to figure out. Be because of the business aspect? Because of being the there. business aspect, because of the spending side of it. I mean, you know, it's just the reality. We've got to understand, you know, that we're going to have to deal with that. So there is going to be major changes have to be made in government to be able to move forward. But it's nothing that can't be done. Is it, it's going to be tough? Yes. But it's tough every day on everyday people out there right now. So we've got to make tough decisions. Is this COVID-19 pandemic going to delay tax returns for people in the state of Missouri this year? I don't think there's any doubt that we're working on that as we speak to. You'll, you'll see us move that date back. You know, I think, I think it'll mirror the federal government's what I think, you know, that you're going to mirror it back. But look, all of those things are, are you got to understand we're going to do that but all of them have a domino effect to something else too. And, and then all of a sudden all the services that people want, all they want you to provide, that has an effect on all those things. But look, we're, we're gonna come through this. We're gonna come through, there's no doubt in my mind that Missouri is gonna come through this. We're gonna be better, we're gonna be smarter, and we're gonna figure out how to handle the situation in the future.